Hey guys, Bishmi back with another video and today we got my week 4 battle of the Battle Sparks League, the Draft League. So today we're going up against the Atlanta Sable and like me, the Atlanta, the Atlanta Sable are 0-3 and, and we're both looking for a win. Sadly, I couldn't get that last week, which I would have had it. If I just click weather ball with Pelipper, it would have been a whole different game. But, you know, we're past that. We're going into this week um, looking at the Atlanta Sabos team. Um, the thing that worries me the most is definitely the Nine Tails because it got the freeze dry. Um, and I, well, if you guys didn't see, um, check out Kennel's channel. He has my week one battle where the freeze dry kind of like ate up my team. So I got like a taste of what that thing could do. And he also has the Seismitoad, which can be um, water absorbed. Or he could like go with a Swift Swim set and start um, like abusing my rain and using it against me. Um, also, the toxicity, you know, electric against water, you know, he wins there. But let's see what I got to counter that. So, first, I got my Ludicolo. I decided to take off a little bit of the bulk and go with more um, attack so that it could hit harder. Because, um, as you'll see in like the rest of my sets, like this is my mainly special attacker. I got, you know, a little bit of EVs in my HP just to tank up a little bit more hits. Um, I took off the blizzard for ice beam just um so i could be more accurate and also surf over hydro pump the same reason i put on brick break because i know he could he does like setting up his aurora veil with nine tails um and then we go into my dreadnought because i was a little bit more paranoid of missing i put wide lens on for that head smash because it will kill nine tails um through veil um, because the head smash is just it does so much damage man like 150 base power that's basically a G max move but yeah we've been running the same set of dreadnought max speed max attack adamant just switching up the moves for um whatever I need it for um this week we're bringing a defensive orbital not the mix set that I've been bringing because I mainly want to use this thing against um his arcanine or which I, I pretty much is going to be um I'm pretty sure it's going to be physical or his uh, Bisharp. Um, we got the leftovers to maybe stall out. That's why I have the body press for his Beware, Bisharp, um, and the stored power, just so that I can have that strong G-Max move. And if I'm able to get a couple Calm Minds up, this thing can sweep. And you know, that's what I've been trying to go for. Um, let's look f at the next three I'm bringing. So, <clears throat> not bringing that specially sweeping Pelipper, nah, I'm tired of that. I'm going back to my roots. I'm bringing the Damp Rock Max Defense Pelipper. This is what I've been used to, and this is what I'm more comfortable with. Um, I got the U-turn because I am very slow. So if I'm be able to come in, set up the rain, I could just U-turn out to one of my uh, hitters, either um, Dreadnought or Ludicolo, and then um, I'm gonna get a hard hit. Um, we just got the Scald for a little bit of rain boosted damage and the Hurricane um, to hit his Como, his Trevenant, um, or even the Shuckle. So yeah, um, not too much going on with that, just um, my other defensive wall. And then we have my Feral Thorn. It's going to be max special defense. I mainly brought this to counter his Ninetales because a Gyro Ball will kill through the Veil. Um, and I'm just running max HP, max special defense, so that I could deal with it. Um, not sure what he wants to do with his Seismitoad. I got, I have the Choppleberry just in case he's a Seismitoad lead. I'll be able to um, set up my Stealth Rocks no problem. And uh, I'll be able to tank the hit, set up my Stealth Rocks, because if he does not lead Ninetales, like everything is going to come in and take that Stealth Rocks damage, especially that Swoo Bat that he has in the back that... um. I, I did see what that could do when it gets a, like a nasty plot up. Um, but yeah, just got knockoff just to be hitting things um, for their item. I guess like a Trevenant also. Body press for Bisharp and Beware, like I said. And yeah, let's roll over to Clado. Now Clado has a Paschal Berry. This is also like a secondary um, 
defense mechanism to his seismitoad. I have the Pasho Berry because I know I can take a hit. Max special defense, max HP. Um, not sure what he might want to run on it, but I got the dread the grass knot because it'll live a hit and I'll be able to grass knot earth power for the toxicity because this thing could also wall the toxicity if he's special attacking. I did see that he does like to run um a physical attacking set also. Um rapid spin just in case he gets up rocks with his como or seismitoad or his shuckle. I know that um he does like to set up with that. And then I just got rain dance in the back just in case. Um, my Pelipper goes down because I do have a habit of letting my Pelipper die and my rain just goes away. So I got the rain dance on Claydol just for that. So yeah, let's get right into the battle. Alright, so here we are with the battle. Now, um, I did make like a last uh, chance switch with um, putting the choice band on Dreadnought. Um, I took off the wide lens because I figured with um, head smash, that's the only move that I would need the accuracy for. But yeah, let's look at his team. So he has the Trevenant, Bisharp, Scary, uh, Beware, Seismitoad. Yeah, I knew he was going to bring that for the water absorb. Uh, Toxtricity and the Nine Tails with that uh, Veil. So... Like I said, I'm going to lead off with Feral Thorn to stop him from setting up Veil. If he doesn't lead uh, Nine Tails, then um, let me just check what I can do. Um, I could set up my rocks. So yeah, let's see what he led. And I'll send out my good looks. Alright, let's look at this lead. No Winnie. Uh, that's Beware, right? Yeah. Alright, so I do have the Chapel Berry to live a hit. Now, my thing is, do I want to use it on this? Um, and I could just body press this, but you know what? I'm going to set up my rocks. So you just drain punches. It's going to pop my berry. Let's see how much damage this does. So, around 60. Um, and it's going to get hurt by that uh, Iron Barbs. Yeah, I'm just going to set up my Stealth Rocks here. And here I'm going to switch into Pelipper. My actual defensive wall. So yeah, here I'm going to get the Rain Up. Um, Pelipper should eat this. Uh, really well since I'm max defense this week. Yes, yeah, so he just goes for another train punch. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm expecting him to go toad here, so I can U-turn, but yeah, I think I like uh, U-turning here. Yeah, so like even if he didn't go uh, Seismitoad, I could just check. Oh, so he went Bish. Um, I think I'm kind of free to just bring in uh, Dreadnought and superpower this. And then nothing likes a Choice Bandit superpower. So yeah, I think the only thing, I don't even want to switch to see what he could bring in because it doesn't matter, man. I was clicking that, s yep, so I'm going to superpower here. It might be Sash. Oh wait, no, I, I would have broke the Sash. So, sacking his Bisharp here. So it's looking good for my Dreadnought. I mean, that looks good for my Orb Beetle with um, Bisharp out the way. So he brings in Trevenant here. Um, I'm expecting him to maybe Wisp or even go for the, the Grass move. So I could just bring in... Um, yeah, I could just bring in... Uh, I want to say Feral Thorn, but I need this for that uh, that Nine Tails. Uh, I'll bring it in anyways. See what he went for. 
Yeah, so he just looked, goes for the burn. Definitely wasn't going to stay in there. Um, here, I'm just going to knock off. He might bring in a uh, Beware, and that's fine. Because I'll knock off his item. You know what? I should have went for the Body Press. Yeah, as he does bring in Beware. So, I should have just went for the Body Press. But, um... I'll take away this thing's item. Oh my god, that did nothing. And it's a Lumberry. So I wonder what he was um, expecting me to have this game. Um, it's probably just going to Drain Punch. So... Hmm. I'm going to bring out Orbital this time. Yeah, so I'm just... I didn't want to go back into Pelipper because um, I want to bring... I want to save its health for when I need to set up the ring as Dream Punch does nothing. So yeah, here I'm just going to Body Press. I could even call mine. But you know what? I'm not even going to try to get greedy with that. So he does stay in. Oh my god, that thing ate the body press. Marcus Lariat, yeah, this thing is gonna hurt. Yeah. So I could have even um could have calm mind, but I yeah, I'm just gonna get out of there. After seeing that damage, that disgusting damage, I'm gonna get out of there. Now, bringing in Pelipper here, kind of, um, it's kind of bad because, um, I would have to take it out to bring it back in for the, the rain. Oh my god, and Darkest Lariat did so much damage. So yeah, as you, as you see, the rain stops there. So this thing is, um, a problem right now. I'm just gonna roost up to save some health. I don't think he stays in. Yeah, so he withdraws, allowing me to. Um... Oh, that's his nine tails. Yeah. So I don't know if here would he just want to go for the um, the screens or the freeze dry. But I do not need Pelipper taking unnecessary damage. So here, um, I'm gonna go Feral Thorn. It should live a free strike really easily, since I am a uh, max special defense. Yeah, as he goes for the free strike. So I'm kind of tempted to even um. Just bring back in Pelipper so that he won't be able to set up his screens. But I'm pretty sure that a gyro ball will kill through the screens. So yeah, not taking but now that I think about it, I don't um So he just goes for another free strike. I think that's gonna kill. Oh no, so bringing me really low, but I'm gonna get off this gyro ball as it KOs the um, the nine tails. So we get his weather out of here and we also get his, uh, what is it? The veil. And um, Ferrothorn is gonna die to the burn. Okay. So here, I'll just bring in uh, Pelipper to set up the ring. brings in toxicity great play you know I, I was thinking that he might do that but that's why I have um, my clay on the back or I could even I'm a little bit tempted to just let um Pelipper die here so that I could bring in dreadnought earthquake 
because a choice banded earthquake should kill this toxicity i don't think i need my speed for anything else um because yeah it looks like most of his threats is gone uh and ludicolo should be able to handle the rest of them so i'm gonna let Pulipper die here oh he switches out um i'm thinking into yeah so he brings in seismitoad great play and i get to check if it's like water absorb no so it's swift swim Oh my god, he brought the Swift Swim Seismitoad. Uh oh. Now, let's see if it's physical or special. So he whips. It's physical. Does a lot of damage, but Pelipper is going to be able to take this thing out here. So, Pelipper finally getting the kill. So yeah, definitely, like, I, I did not mind letting Pelipper go down because it just gives me my, um, my option to just go into, um, Dreadnought. But now with Seismitoad down, um, Ludicolo is looking like a pretty easy sack. Although it can wall out Toxtricity. Let's see. So he brings in um, Trevenant. Here. Here I'm going to Roost. I'm not sure. Or I could even Hurricane. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to Hurricane. There's a lot of damage. Not enough to KO though. So maybe I should have Roosted. But at this point, I figure, like, I kind of just... Oh my god, Trick Room. Nice. So, <laughs> he's going to go first on the next turn. Um, I'm just going to roost up here. And try to stall out this Trick Room. Because And then, now, I think my rain lasts longer than the Trick Room, too. So, me having, like, a slower Mon in is, is alright. So yeah, as you, as you can see, like, if I was faster, then the Horn Leech would have killed because I would have lost my Flying type on this turn. And now, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to let um, the Trick Room run out. So, what, uh, three more turns? Yeah, I'm just, nothing's stopping me from just roosting. See, so looking like a uh, bulky Pelipper coming in clutch here. See, so yeah, and that's gonna allow me to get up to to even full. Because, like I said, I don't want Toxtricity coming in on a Trick Room because I know I'm uh, my whole team is gonna be faster than it with my Rain up. Like, even if he switches here, that's fine. Because when he kills Pelipper, I get a free switch into Ludicolo, which is definitely going to wall out um, Toxtricity. So you hear, let me just check. I'm pretty sure there's two. All right, so this is the last turn in the trick room. I'm just going to go for the Hurricane. To probably kill. So it doesn't kill. And then he's gonna bury up. But that also worked in his favor too because he stalled out my rain. And all right, so this is the last turn of rain. Um, I'm a little bit tempted to switch out and then bring this thing back in. Yeah. So kind of going the long way. I just went Ludicolo because I don't think um, this thing can touch it. I see sets up Trick Room. So yeah, I could have just killed it there.
Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna ice beam. See how much damage this does. Oh my god. What what the heck? I did not expect it to do that much damage. But, and this is not kill. Why am I letting a Trevenant do this to me? Oh my god. I don't think Pelipper could take two. Alright. Corn Leech. This is cool. Alright. But do I don't think I kill with um with Ice Beam here. Yeah, no. You know what? This is this is fine. Because now I go into a uh, Pelipper and I set up the rain and then um I kill it. Just let Trevenant do the dash. Oh my god. But yeah, I did that because I wanted to reset my rain. So yeah, and then here I'm just gonna hurricane. So Trevenant KOing. Ludicolo. Which is pretty good. Because that was my uh my special attacker on my team. Pelipper killing the Trevenant is which is what I should have done, but I like I said I I, did, I really didn't want um, Toxtricity to come in and then kill Pelipper in my rain end, so I, I did that to preserve rain, which I just remembered I had um, my rain dance clay doll in the back, so it would have been fine. Because he still has that beware, which is scary. So yeah, as he brings in this Toxicity here. I figured he'd G-Max on this turn. Um, just gonna Scald. Oh, so he goes for the Thunder Punch, looking like a physical Toxicity. Um, here I bring in Dreadnought and an Earthquake. Choice Bandit Earthquake should do a lot of damage. And since I'm in the rain, I should be faster. Unless he's like scarfed or something. Because I don't run this thing jolly. Oh, let's see. Let us see. I see Gigantamax is here. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, I want to say I definitely should have uh, sacked off maybe Orb Beetle versus that uh, Trevenant. Let's go Choice Banded Adamant Dreadnought. Yes. All right. Dreadnought is gonna be able to take, get the KO on that Toxicity. And now I'm going to switch into um, Orb Beetle so that I could um, be able to switch my attacks on this guy. Now I know this thing is like a wall, so I definitely want to be able to superpower it. I'm just gonna bring in my clay doll because even if dreadnought just so happens to not get the ko um 
body press will KO it. See, he drain punches to get some health back. Um, I guess I'll earth power. Yeah, this thing is so slow. As he goes for the darkest lariat. That doesn't KO. But I'm going to be able to get chip on this thing. With another earth power. And then, um... To end, I'm just going to bring in uh, Orb Beetle to get the KO. No. I bring a Dreadnought to get the KO. So yeah, good game, Brandon. Um, <laughs> this was the battle of the um, the two teams who haven't gotten a win. And um, I want to say you played it well. Yeah, definitely a scary team. So yeah, that's going to put me at one three finally in the battle sparks league um like i said good games to brandon you guys go check out his battle his youtube channel is going to be in the description he's going to have his version of the battle and you get to see those um plays that were made on his end but yeah this is bishmi signing out make sure you guys like comment and subscribe for more draft battle content um i am doing a little bit of showdown now so yeah look out for that